Patrick has given us all. He's given us everything, 100% to the club. And we all thank him for his terms, his teams, his service. Thank you, Patrick. So there you go. Uh, but mm-hmm. Palace, the stats are, have not won since 2020, in 2023. Palace fans, give us a call, 03717 What do you make of this breaking news? Guys, first of all, Ray, as I said, the Arsenal yes. take them on now. Does that, does that make you worry a wee bit more now that, you know, a change of manager, well, suddenly you get another 20%? Depend, not all the time. Depends on what the reason is, because if you've lost your dressing room, maybe, I don't know if, if Patrick has or not, then it might be a lift for the players that when, you, when you're when you not getting on with the manager yeah. and the manager leaves, it might be a little bit of a lift. But, I've, I know Patrick very well. I, look, I'm, I've not worked under him as a manager, but I know him as a teammate, and he was a, such a good guy. That I'm, I'll be surprised if he has lost his dressing room because of what I've seen so far, um, the players are trying to do the best they can for him. So, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, but people got to make these big decisions, chairmen, and I hope there's a plan for Palace. I hope there's someone who they've said, right, we're ready to go, and they come straight into Palace <laughs> if they're going to set managers because... You know, Every I, point now is vital. Gabby, what do you make of the news? I think it's a strange decision. I mean, yes, they're 12th, three points above the relegation zone. But when I watch Palace, they look like a team that are playing for the manager. They've drawn too many games. Strikers haven't been putting the ball in the back of their net. But sometimes these decisions can backfire. You know, you look at the game against Arsenal on Sunday, and I think it will help Arsenal. I mm. think these players will be upset that Patrick Vieira has got the sack. You know, um, talented manager. And I just think the attacking players have let him down. You know, failing to score goals um, since the start of the year. We said that error, well, Ali, didn't I'm we? Say to you, right. Two bottom teams in the league right now, Leeds United and Southampton. What have they done? They've changed the manager, right? Yeah. Forrest, gave your man a, f- a five-year contract, sitting 14th. I know Everton have the change with Sean Dyche. I get that. But there's nothing that would tell you that changing a manager is going to make a dramatic change. I'm with the boys. I, nothing surprises in football anymore, guys. But that I, I, that's came a little bit out of the blue. Uh, you know, to contradict myself. Who would, who would be... Who would be um, they've got to have somebody lined up. I'll tell you right now, there's no way they've made that yeah. decision no, and they don't, and they don't have somebody lined up, Ray. Absolutely. Got to have somebody lined up. Talks for Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.